other side of those emotions to see the community coming together so quickly. It has been less than 24 hours since this dam broke and all of this has happened. In fact, a lot of those emotions boil, boiling over. At times, it plays out like a movie. My colleague, Sean Lee, found one of those families, ran into them. It's so surreal. It's probably the best word, Sean. And we keep hearing from everyone, Nick, in the whole area how thankful because we're not talking about injuries we're not talking about any fatalities from this one family we found at the base of a bridge that got wiped out says the warning system worked they got the warning but even then a wall of water was headed their way and they barely escaped it is a stunning scene in hope michigan tonight wixom lake is gone the edenville dam failed sending a tidal wave of water taking out the m30 bridge then cutting the Curtis Road Bridge in half. Right at that bridge is Bill Cyan's house. And Bill and his family was home when the water came crashing down. We was headed up the driveway when we seen the spray look like Niagara Falls coming over the bridge. Once the dam gave way, there was a 20, 30 foot wall coming at us. And uh, it was literally over the bridge, you know, before we could get up out of here. So it, yeah, it was pretty bad. The home directly across from the Titabawasi River from Cyan's home was destroyed. Cyan got about four feet of water in his home. He's in tears tonight cleaning up, thinking of people who lost everything. Total devastation. I was thinking more about people down downstream. Think about this. The bridge, Curtis Road Bridge is up here. Bill's house is down here. He never dreamt a wall of water would come over that bridge hitting the back of his house and again he says he can clean up he can rebuild but he's thinking of so many others who can't tonight live in midland sean lay local four